Hi everyone, I'm Paul Kasabian and I'm a structural engineer and welcome to Structures. Understanding structures and how they behave in the world around us matters in that we're understanding how buildings stand up, how bridges span. And that's something I want to get across to you in a series of videos. I think it's important to understand structural behavior. I want to start with this image. I love this image. It is an extremely elegant and simple bridge. You can see it spanning from A to B. You can see the rope bending underneath the feet of the people walking across it. It's, um, it's somewhat of a one-way bridge, uh, but even the handrails are structural. And this is a great example of um, seeing how a structure behaves in terms of the cable and carrying tension. At a sort of more modern and very recent example, this is a structure we worked on where with forces on a block we optimized for the principal stresses, the, the forces inside the block, to only have the material that was necessary that presented this, us with a three-dimensional optimized form that we then 3D printed out of stainless steel. It's next to me on this table. But structures aren't always like this, and nor should they be. After all, if I take uh, this pen, if I take this pen or beam and I try to snap it and I put it into sort of bending between in sort of the obvious way you would want to snap it, as I start to try and bend it, the pen, the beam, doesn't really change how it looks. It doesn't, it doesn't tell us how it's behaving. It doesn't change color, it doesn't get redder where it's most stressed. And the stresses inside it are varying in quite significant um, amounts and throughout its length. So understanding something as simple as a beam is important and critical to us designing better structures. So what do I want you to learn from these videos and in terms of understanding structural behavior? I wanted to share a personal story. Um, this is when I was in my mid-twenties designing a pedestrian bridge. Uh, this is Lock Meadow Footbridge in Kent in the south of England. Uh, the photograph is a bit grainy. Um, that's just what the 90s looked like. Uh, so I was designing uh, one afternoon the uh, cantilevered stair treads that are at the bottom of the, the entrance to the pedestrian bridge you can see. And I was struggling to make them work and um, I called the architect, we talked through some of the issues, the architect had an idea, sketched it, faxed it to me, I did the calculations and we were good to go. And I went home somewhat depressed actually, I'd, I'd spent four years at Cambridge University, I thought I understood my structures pretty well, um, and after all I'd done the equations right, I designed it or analyzed it, I should say, correctly. But I hadn't really designed it. I hadn't conceived of what the, the problem or the solution to the problem could be. I hadn't provided value at that stage in the design project. And from that moment on, I really resolved to get better at understanding structures and to contribute better to the design process. And I think if people understood structures more, they would collectively produce better designs. So who am I? Um, this is so that you can decide whether you want to still watch these videos. I'm a practicing structural engineer. Uh, I'm a principal at a firm here in Boston. I'm licensed uh, in multiple states here in the US and in the UK where I started my career. Um, I have experience on a, and continue to work on a range of projects of design, investigation and rehabilitation, repair of existing structures. Um, I'm lucky enough to be working with a whole wide range of different types of clients um, from truly fascinating projects of scale, structural system and materials. And I've also taught courses at uh, MIT for nine years and for the last few years at Harvard. And a lot of what I'm going to cover in these videos comes from those courses, again, which is an understanding of structural behavior. So let's just look at how I think a lot of structures is taught. It's certainly how I was taught, which is if, as an example, you take a cantilever beam. Let's read the question. For a given load F, 
determine the size of the cantilever beam. Now, that's important to know, especially if you're a structural engineer. That's critical. But that's not structural design, that's structural analysis. I would put it to you that structural design is this situation. You have a force, you have a place you can take it to. What now? What are you going to do? That's structural design. One option, a Michel minimum weight structure. They're fascinating, they're wonderful, they're not always practical, and that's why we don't see them around very much. So really, to the essence of what we're trying to get to, this is the problem I want us to tackle together and get better at understanding what our options are, what we can do, and how we can design and think better about design of structures.